Hi everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome to the beginning of my savings, budgeting, and YouTube journey. I am here to represent the low-income single parents. On this channel, I will be what am I doing on this channel? On this channel, I will be experimenting with different budgeting styles, savings goals, and sharing the strategies I learn as I go. So if that sounds interesting at all to you, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to follow my journey. All right. So good news. First, we got to a thousand subscribers. Oh my God. A thousand subscribers. I, I can't even wrap my brain around that that's the good news for this week thank you everybody thank you so much for watching for subscribing for commenting for supporting i really 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 appreciate it if i don't say that enough i appreciate it so the bad news for this week is the day before yesterday um well there's a couple bad news the day before yesterday i got a call from the dealership basically saying my car won't be ready for another week oh. they're waiting on a par etc cetera, etc cetera. but i was like i was in a bad mood after that and i almost really wanted to just be like forget it I just i'm gonna keep looking for another car but i had to like step back and be like okay just wait a minute let's think this through so i'm gonna wait another week and we'll see and then i came home i could it had been pouring raining and thundering um for uh, like an hour or two before i got home so when i got here i um couldn't get in the front door so i went around to the back and before i get all the way back there i realized there is a huge tree that fell and broke my fence so and i just got that fence last year and the fence was not cheap so that was a bummer but um i do have a friend that's helping me like clean up the tree because not only did it fall on my yard but the fence was like this and it kind of fell into one of my neighbor's yard as well and he had a tree that fell too so he's kind of sick so i'm just like cleaning up helping to clean up his yard too and just you know we're gonna burn some of the firewood but there's so much it's such a big tree that um we're gonna have to have the city come pick up some of it but anyway and then so i'll have to figure out when i'm gonna fix that fence and how i'm gonna pay for it and i have other home repairs that i need to pay for so yeah that's probably the last thing um that i'm gonna worry about right now because it's not hurting anybody that it's down and it broke two like two panels so i might even be able to find somebody who can just fix it because some of the you'll see in the picture but some of the spokes i don't know what they're called <laughs> whatever they're called some of them didn't break so i'll be able to reuse them so on the bright side there's that but moving on so i did say in, in one of my shorts that i went through and i realized that i had already saved up i think i said like 830 dollars but then i realized no i have saved more than that sorry that was my cat um, oh i was saying that i saved more than that so um this was the balance before i had to redo this because it looks crazy at first and it still looks a little bit crazy but <laughs> i'm still working on these forms you guys know that i've said that quite a few times so i won't keep repeating it but anyway i see that um i had spent some of that 833 83 dollars was spent so i went down to 750 before my last pay period and then in my last pay period since i had that extra check i was able to stuff 360 dollars in my sinking funds so clearly i've already calculated it <laughs> right before this video so you'll see that i've actually saved um a thousand one hundred and ten dollars not including the automatic um 200 that comes out you'll see that here um, well it was 200 it's 175 now so i don't even know how much that is altogether but it's definitely more than i have ever saved in this amount of time ever hands down so um if you haven't started cash stuffing start start small start with one binder or start with an accordion with whatever you have 
start because it's going to save you money. It really is. Um, it might take you a while to get down the categories and, you know, what works for your budget. But regardless, because I'm still working on that, regardless, it's definitely saving me money. Like that, there's no buts, buts, ifs, ands, or buts. Yeah, well, all of that. There's none of that. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to give you an update on that. And then I want to give you an update on my variable binder, which is... The binder that I carry with me this is like my wallet to show you um, how much I've spent this week. So it's been a week now since I got paid. I got paid last Wednesday. I don't get paid again until the following Wednesday. So I'd like to come in and show you guys um, if I have any money left. And so I'm happy to say that this is the first pay period, probably since I've started, that I still have cash left in every envelope. Probably because I don't have a car at the moment, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Personal, I still have $37 in there. Um, mind you, I stuffed more than I usually stuff because I had that extra tax refund. So there's more in their household. I haven't spent anything, even though we do need some stuff. I just haven't been able to get to the store. Um, so at least half of this will probably be gone. Um, grocery store. We haven't been to the grocery store. I went to like a corner store and got a few things the other day. Um, so there's 179 left in there. Um, this, I had to put this sheet in there because, um, if you watched my last video of my cash stuffing, you'll know that $40 I left in the bank for gas. And I kind of messed myself up because I kind of forgot that. So I was like documenting it here and then I realized, oh, wait a minute, there's cash in there already. So I started to track, you know, how much I spent of that $40 that was in the bank and I spent $3 extra. So I'll have to deposit that back in the bank, um, but I just took that out of this here. Um, it's a little tougher now, I'll be honest, to do the cash because of not having a car, I think. So hopefully that situation will be resolved soon so I can at least do, um, so I can at least figure it out better and work, work better with it. Or I might have to decide to do, to leave more in the bank. So I think that's what I'm running into. I, like, like you guys all know, I, this is new for me, so I'm still figuring it out. I think that what I'm going to start doing is leaving more cash in the bank at least until I get my car back. Okay, and entertainment, we haven't spent anything in there because we spent it out of summer activities. So we went to the movies and got some snacks and some food. So um, we went to see Barbie, which was, that was fun. And um, so we spent some money there. We spent, actually, we spent $50. We spent fifty dollars, so but that's okay. That's what summer activities, sinking funds is for. It used to be that before, if we wanted to go to the movies or do something fun, you know, I'd have to pull it from somewhere that I wasn't planning on. So it was nice to pull it from something that it was made for, and it was a little bit less stressful and anxiety ridden because it was there, and that was the purpose, and that's what I used it for. Okay, dining out actually still has money, which never happens. Um, but it did get a little more than usual, like I explained. So dining out right now has twenty dollars left. Let's see, miscellaneous has fifty dollars left. I, I think that's pretty good. What I did here was I added an ex another one of these sheets. These sheets I purchased it separately. It didn't come with the binder, um, but I think that I have. I keep all of those in the description box links. So you'll see that I put started writing down what is in deposit that has to go back to the bank, just so I remember when I get there um, why I'm putting it back. So I need to replace uh, $19 from my birthday fund. So I spent $19 on Amazon for something for my own birthday. Um, I already, already planned to get some things from Amazon for my birthday. And so I just took $19 from there so I'll have to add this birthday fund money and the money that we spent in summer activities to my income for the month in order for it to balance out when I do my closeout. So that's still a plan right now. Um, I'm not sure how well that's going to work out, but um, I am still planning to close out, at least show you guys my attempt at closing out. Um, and then that extra $3 for gas. So there's $45 in here. Let me just make sure. So let's see, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. I have to be very careful when I'm um, doing my budget sheets and moving money around because sometimes I forget 
what's in there and or I forget to write it down. So these are just some receipts that I have that I need to scan. Yes, I do use Fetch, you guys. I do have some change this time. I didn't have any change last time. So I'm just going to take this out and put it in to my little... my little coin pouch here and these go into a challenge which i haven't contributed to in a while so when i have change um, i count it out to see how many of these i can fill out or highlight because it should amount to sixty dollars and ninety cents when i'm done so lately what i've just been doing is this cash that i haven't counted out yet or I haven't had a chance to i just put it in here and then once i count it out and i know that i can fill one of these jars completely I put it here. So the rest is in here. But thank you for the likes, the comments, the love, and for um, a thousand subscribers. Still crazy. And I can't even like really celebrate with anybody because I explained before that like none of my family members really know that I have a YouTube channel. At least the people that I, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, we went over that before. We're not going to go over it again. But also, I want to give you an update. For my birthday, I already have plans on buying myself some new binders. So I'll show you the binders that I have now. So I have this one that I use for like just the miscellaneous stuff. This one I use for my daughter. And then this one I just got and I just did an unboxing. This one I am using for savings challenges. And I really like this one. I don't know why I like this one the most, but I do. And so I've been debating about whether I want to replace this. I still haven't decided, um, but I probably will replace it with still another A6. I don't think I want one of those wallets. I don't know. I'll keep debating it. If you have one of those um, cash stuffing wallets where they, they look like an actual wallet, but you can put um, envelopes inside. They come with envelopes. So I've seen them on Amazon and I'm thinking about it. I don't know. Because it's big too. From what I've seen, it it looks just as big as one of these. So my, I don't know what the benefit is, but we'll see. <laughs> um, but I do want to replace this with something prettier. Um, even though I love marble, this is my favorite color. Like the back of my phone is the same as this. It's just a weird, crazy coincidence. But apparently I like this pattern. Um, but I did find some cute ones on there that I like. So I'll probably do an unboxing around after the next cash stuffing I'll do. I'll see how much money that I have been able to put in sinking funds. I think I only have like $90 in birthday in sinking funds for my birthday at the moment. But that's okay. I do want to get a few binders to replace the ones that I have that are just a little cuter. I'm not doing much for my birthday, so at least I can do that for myself. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I want you to always remember that it is about progression and not about perfection. Thank you, everybody. Happy saving. Bye. <laughs>